You know what, to be honest, I can't even remember that much because it was so nerve-wracking. I remember being extremely nervous before stepping out on stage, but at the same time, I was, I would have been happy for anyone that would have won because honestly, all those ladies deserved, deserved the crown. And there's something to be said about um, pageants and, and events like this where you kind of all come together, you are competing, but there's yeah. bonds and friendships made there. What would you say about this year's class? We've all made friends. All, every single one of those girls has a really good heart. We've all got along, which is really important. It's made it easier for us in the preparation. We've had a lot of fun as well. And we've gone through all these emotions together. So we've been able to build that friendship. OK, so what happens now? Uh, now we do as much charity work as we can. Um, I'll be attending as many events as possible as well. Um, I'll be representing Gibraltar somewhere abroad. Um, and yeah, just trying to be a good ambassador for Gibraltar. And why did you decide to take part? Were you put up to it by friends? Were you curious about wanting to do it yourself? Yes, actually the second princess from last year, Carla, she, um, she messaged me to ask if I wanted to. I was like, I don't know. So I spoke to the organizers, had a coffee, and from there it was, do I, do I not? But last minute I decided to, to go for it. Um, I'm really happy I made that decision because I, I wasn't going to go for it, but I'm really happy I did. And how do you feel about having a pageant like a, a Mrs. Gibraltar? Everybody knows, of course, the history with Miss Gibraltar, but this is now giving people of a different age bracket the chance as well to boost their confidence, to make new friends, to do a charity outreach. How do you feel about that opportunity? I think it's like a second chance. Um, so I wasn't able to enter Miss Gibraltar. I'd gone through anxiety. I was living in UK. Then I had my child, so I'm... 27. You can the last the latest UN enter is 26 years old. So this just gave me another opportunity. I felt like I was ready. I felt like I was in the the healthiest I've been. So I thought I'd, I'd go for it. And how do you feel about all the work that you're going to be doing moving forward now? I'm really excited. I'm um, I'm excited to to keep going forward with this. It's it's opening my eyes a lot. I'm learning a lot. Um, I love learning. I've, I've learned a lot from charities, all the work that needs to be done. I've learned a lot about the Gibraltarians, the generosity of our people, and I'm really excited to keep continuing my journey learning. What would you say to somebody who's watching this now who thought, I, I don't know, I, 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 I had the same sort of issues, maybe I had anxiety, maybe I didn't think pageants were for me. What would you say to somebody who might be considering a Mrs. Gibraltar? If you're considering it, then you should go for it. Um, if you, it's not for you, then it's not for you. But if you're actually thinking about it, it's because part of you really does want to want to go for it. And I, honestly, you can ask anyone, I wasn't going to do it until the day before I could sign up. And I was just like, no, I can't do that. It's really embarrassing. I, I, I'm not. But honestly, once you go there and you make all these new friends and everything, it's like, why not? Life is too short. Life is too short to care what other people think, whether you're entering or not. And that was one of my biggest issues. that I cared too much about what people would think if I entered. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's my life, not theirs. So I can do what I want. <laughs>